不像过去那样很心里什么的想法，马上实现了。现在不太可能，没有碰到过，这次第一次。At first, he heard about the COVID-19 was probably end of December, early January. It's from China. I heard it very early in late January because we are a global company, so our counterpart in China and Singapore got affected at end of January. Um, I was first concerned about the coronavirus when uh, the NBA shut down. I first started concerned in February uh, because there, there are a few cases here in Bay Area. When our company have announced that um, our Singapore, Hong Kong and China employee has to work from home. They are not allowed to go into the office when the coronavirus just started in Asia. Uh, working from home feels like about the same because my job is sitting in front of computer. Having to attend school at home has been harder. It's, it's a lot harder to focus and it's a lot harder to grasp new material. The, the bad thing is that you, you cannot cut off very specifically. I mean, once I woke up, I, I feel like, oh, I, I forgot something, I start working. After dinner, I think something, all right, <laughs> I just fire the computer and work. However, um, because the whole entire family now is home, working, uh, it does uh, kind of um, not able to concentrate or focus a much longer time because um, we do have to prepare lunch and dinner and all other things, nuances that are coming up <laughs> and we just have to kind of uh, be more multitasking. Good thing is I can, we, we have more family time. The bad thing is we have more family time <laughs> and more people to share with the internet bandwidth. It's nice because now being in college, it's, I don't get to see my family a lot. And so it's an extended summer vacation for me, I guess. The way reporting the cases, it's much, much different from Taiwan and the U.S. But uh, in Taiwan, because they, they have so few cases and they track down each patient, they, they want them, uh, the patient to, to leave, uh, move, move to hospital. And then they, they make the number to report it. Uh, of course, track down every detail where he, he, he or she's been, been to, or everything. From uh, American news, it seems very statistic. They talk a lot, a lot of statistics, and then uh, it's very formal. And then, but in Chinese, they talk about, a lot about how you protect yourself, how you have to wear this, you have to do this, you have to do that. It's more, um, in a way, a lot of direction given to the public. As for reporting between a, a, a Western way or a, or a kind of an Asian or Chinese way, um, I do think the reports from a Western way is more authority, authority, has more authority. It's more, maybe more generic per se. It, it cover more aspect. But then in Chinese, it probably will pinpoint down to very uh, specific case. Kind of actually, it does make you more scared because looking at those specific cases. Calling it the Chinese virus to me doesn't really mean anything. I know out of President Trump's mouth, it definitely is um, racial. In a way, um, it is coming, it's the first occurrence is coming from China. It could c consider that, but I think the way he presented it sometimes is a little bit misleading. President Trump naming it a, a Chinese virus is plainly wrong. He actually didn't mean someone to blame. 
So I, I was uh, quite upset. I do think that it uh, has impact to other people after listening to his talk. Um, a lot of citizens look after the president and will take his word. And they do imply that this is a chi Chinese virus, not um, a, just a, a virus, a COVID-19. We do have conversation at work before we shut down and going home. And we have um, co-workers saying that have showing concern that we have to be careful when we are out there because there will be people uh, have bias uh, to Chinese or Asian people. Before the uh, shelter from home, if you if I wear a mask, I, I heard about some some uh, news and some friend even friends saying that people will look at you differently, and and I heard there there's someone yelling at you, and combined with the the China virus, people are yelling at at, at, at Asian wearing face mask. And then that, that was the most uncomfortable. <laughs> I think some of the biggest misconceptions is that, um, that there's going to be a cure coming out like in a year, so we'll be fine. But it's coming out in a year, so we can't really rely on that right now. But right now, I, I, I think everything is a, a new normal.